Mazda Speed 3. So the problem I'm having is the roof antenna is um, not connected solidly and obviously water can get in. The screws holding the antenna to the roof are attached underneath uh, the top of the car so I have to get this headliner off and uh, we've got these three attachment points. Here's the one in the middle and this one right here also. And to take these fasteners off we use a small uh, thin screwdriver or a pick like this to pull this down and it, as you can see it came off there. We also have to take these side panels off uh, in, because the headliners uh, tucked underneath. It's, uh, they're with tabs down there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you, you just have to pull. So there's a fastener, plastic fastener right here, and you get a tool, tool to pry that out. Uh, we've got to also remove this black piece here uh, because this uh, covering goes underneath and so you take this uh, cap off and there's a screw plastic fastener right here with a pick you uh, remove that also and then after you remove those two fasteners it just pulls straight out like that so I have to take these two fasteners out because this this white plastic is one unit it it's a uh, part of the one down here so we have to take this fastener out and after we do that uh we pull the gray panel just straight out and it pulls off from these clips reason that we need to take these loosen these side panels is so that we can move the headliner down as much as possible at the back because um, this is a headliner is starting to crinkle right there but you want enough so that you can we want to be able to stick our hand in here so we can get a 19 millimeter socket uh, because there's just one 19 millimeter bolt that holds the antenna Tightened it up. The antenna is now, base is now secure. We just reverse uh, putting the panels back in place with those plastic fasteners. When you're starting to put this pillar panel in, make sure the rubber seal goes on the outside. So, put the panels back on. 